What worked last time may or may not work again this time. Been a little bit like unmotivated for whatever reason. Tsunami season coming up. Oh, this machine. There it is. I found the machine. And I'm just the worst pitcher in the league, so. I'm pretty sure I stopped in this same Mizuno Tokyo store in 2009 when I came here with Team USA. I remember being really wowed by it back then because I'd never seen anything like it in the States. See if it's as uh, impressive as I remember it. Two floors for baseball, that's encouraging. I think this is where they had like a custom glove breaking in machine. Hi Shota. That's my teammate. This is what I need right here. Look at this. I like that color. I don't think that's legal to use in a game, but it might be. I'm gonna have to check that. These chairs are sick. Look at these things. That's awesome. Okay, we got a whole bunch of gloves here. That's kind of the pattern on Shota's glove. Ooh, this one, I like the coloring on this one. Am I gonna buy a glove? I don't have a Mizuno glove yet. I might buy a glove. All right, now look at this, this is super cool. There's a board here that a whole bunch of people signed to the 2023 WBC team with encouraging messages. Uh, I don't think you see that anywhere in the States. People signing a board to encourage the United States team to win the WBC. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, this glove. Look at this color. Oh, that's nice. Size 12, righty. Oh, I like that a lot. I need to find someone to talk to. Oh, this machine. There it is, I found the machine. I don't know if that's the exact same machine, but that's the same machine that was here 14 years ago when I came. Oh, hello, hi. It's not this guy. This place is super cool. Hmm. I like this maroon color too. This maroon color with blue padding, blue fur instead of the black would be, this is a massive glove. Oh, look at this. I wonder if you could like, can I pick it up? Can you play catch with this? You can catch anything with that. Oh, this glove is cool. I like this one. Oh. I like this color combo. I like this color combo a lot. Oh, it's got some like hearts on it. AKA, I love it. Like off the shelf, like broken in, ready to go. YouTube? YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yeah. English? Nihongo <laughs> Wakaramasa. Olympic champions, Japan softball. You need to ask some questions. Hi. Hi. You speak English. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> mallet machine over there. Is it the same one that's been here? It's been the same. It's the same. The same machine. Wow. That's that's pretty crazy. Yeah. I have a question about a specific love. Right. Okay. Do you mind if there's a kid here? Yeah, yeah. I can I can sign for him. Is this like a certain player's model? He's in the Rakuten Eagles and his name is Hayakawa. Okay, and this is his model. Right. I might have to try his glove because I, I really like this glove. It's very it's very cool. Any kid could come in and buy like this model glove. They have to like pre-order it and and then you can pick it up in right, store. Correct. Do you have um Imanaga? Shoto Imanaga? Sure. Bay stars. That is the star that I see in the glove. Okay. I'll get an Imanaga glove and show up to practice with it. Very cool. Thank you for answering my questions. In, in English, though. Oh, okay. Oh, so you watch you watch both of them. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you like better? The one that speaks in Japanese or the one that speaks in English? Like, well, they show me the, the Japanese one. Though. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> uh, even the kids can, like, when they're too little, they can't really read the subtitles. Uh, ah, so that makes sense. So, there's some people, like, who is blinded, but they do the baseball. With all the subtitles, they can't really understand the mm, context. Yeah. yeah, everyone in here loving the Japanese. Is this a wall for like players that have come in? Right. This is the real Shota. one. That's the... Oh, wow. Imanaga, you can see there. Oh yeah, he signed it right there. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Did you get to that earthquake? Really quick last night? Yeah. About 30 seconds worth. It's a 5.2. Tsunami season coming up. I sleep right through earthquakes. I'll tell you what, man, it's been a long time since I gave up three homers in a game. It's still sitting with me. I did not miss that feeling. I usually love facing lineups like that because there's more strikeouts, but not when every ball put in plays a hit. I need catch play partner. Need to work on throwing splitters down. It's coming out of my hand too early. Just drive the hand. Arigato. Nah. Okay, let's do, uh, stay through the ball. Okay, now, split down. Fuck! Throw the fucking ball down. Get the ball fucking down. Throw the fucking ball below the zone. God damn it. 
Oh. Take your fucking target there. Oh. Thank you. The split just kind of like floating, or was it like sharp? After like the release, like initial, it looks like it was kind of floating. Just kind of like, not like. Here's a little pro tip. If you're ever struggling with command of a pitch, go play shortstop and try to throw the pitch across the diamond, throw it out of pickoffs, throw it on the run with that same grip and try to hit your target. Don't worry about how it moves. That's usually where command problems come into play is people are worried about how the pitch is moving and they try to manipulate it. Just grab the pitch, run and throw it and do it a bunch of different times. When you get on the mound, it'll be back. I'm taking a full off day and so I'm going to go into Tokyo and see what is around just being a tourist today. First off, going to start with some breakfast. I'm going to try a new place. I want to eat at the same place every time. So check out what Eggs and Things is all about. It's a large Hawaiian influence. Pretty sure Eggs and Things is an American place. I do bacon over medium, milk potatoes, fruit, orange juice. I got the first impression. They don't skimp on the bacon, which is great. High marks. Let's try these potatoes good. Bacon is very good. A little different than traditional American bacon that's a little bit more crispy. Actually a good amount of meat here and it tastes very good. So high marks on the bacon. I saw a comment from an American who lived in Japan for a while that said that I should request my eggs over hard or over medium so that they didn't come as like scrambled runny eggs which is great. First bite just with a strawberry, no syrup. See how it tastes. I normally don't eat French toast. It's not really part of the diet. Given that today's an off day, I figured I'd take an off day from the diet and have a little bit of enjoyment in my food. Probably got my sugar content for the next uh, month. Good to cheat every now and then, I guess. Not quite as good as Bubby's in uh, my opinion, so flawlessly or not, I'll probably get lost. Yes, yes. please. Picture? A picture, please. Okay. What? Please take a picture. Of us? Uh, I, uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, please. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Also, can we just take a second to appreciate how beautiful Yokohama is? That's a fantastic view. I'm kind of a fan of medieval stuff, like knights and the round table, and where they had a lot of moats that they dug around their castles. And it seems like we have a moat here at the uh, at the palace. That retaining wall is pretty awesome. I love the Japanese, like the way the stones fit together. They can build these massive walls with these stones that, and then they like shape them perfectly. I watched a show one time about some Japanese temples on like a discovery or something like that. And they were talking about how during an earthquake, one of the temples like crumbled and they were able to use like uh, pictures to reconstruct which stones went exactly where, which I found to be fascinating. I mean, look at this. These corners are just so exquisite. These are massive stones. I recognize this type Type of structure from that show so i'm assuming this was uh built much the same way well i've now walked around the imperial palace and you do have to book a tour to go inside so i can't go inside today so to my japanese audience what else should i do what should i see leave me a comment let me know what you think would be interesting for me to experience in tokyo or minato Marai or yokohama i like the serene and quiet nature of the imperial palace it's a very big contrast on one side maybe you have a moat and a palace on the other side you have a street bustling with cars and downtown tokyo which is like makes you wonder where technology is going to be in another 400 years i have to take some pictures of this this is too Cool. Nice to meet you. Well, it's five o'clock and they play music very loudly, I guess, when it's five o'clock downtown Tokyo. That's kind of cool. Team is on the road at Hanshin. I'm not pitching this series, which means I'm at the dock. Threw a bullpen yesterday. I was really frustrated with myself. Didn't feel like I got a lot out of it. It's important to keep in mind that it is just a bullpen. I just need to be smart about the pitches I'm throwing. So I'm trying to keep a level head about it, but I've been a little bit like unmotivated for whatever reason. Um, maybe it's just the weather. It's been raining, kind of gray. I need to have high energy day, get some good throwing in, feel good about it, be positive because uh, yesterday I was just like down on myself, didn't really get some quick throwing done, move around and be active, be an athlete. Sometimes you just gotta trick yourself into feeling good. Today is one of those days. <laughs> Bullpen today, puppy. No. No? Almost. Chess? Just today, okay. Okay. All right. Almost. No way. <laughs> How's arm feel today? Long bullpen yesterday. Yes. <laughs> 70 feet. 70? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ay. Sorry. Okay. Where? On the side. Yeah, it hit. 
Sorry. Thank you. We're just taking ground balls. We can throw across the diamond. Sick. This is what I need in my life. How is this field so dry right now? It like drains so well. It's rained for two days. Oh wow, what a grounder. Oh wow, what a throw. Oh boy. First one, next one better. It's like when I was 13 again. Oh, okay, okay. Good shortstop, man. Gotta get a backhand in here, maybe. Oh! <laughs> okay, Rakes. I love taking ground balls. That's actually like the most fun that I have in baseball, playing shortstop, but as you guys have seen, uh, I can't hit, so <laughs> not really a reality for me. Time for one of the best segments of the year. What's in the box? Okay, this is another ZV-E1 camera because the first ZV-E1 camera I bought is only in Japanese and you can't switch it from Japanese to English language. So I had to get one from the States, but it took a month to get here because it didn't release in the States for like three extra weeks. So this is a positive. Great. This is a sleep pillow that goes between my knees so that my hips don't get out of alignment, but I need one for the road, two pairs of all my sleep equipment. Ah. This is a new lens. This is a 16 to 35 millimeter, so you'll be able to get twice as close to the action as you have been. ND filters, cards so I can store. The vlog is getting some updates. And what you're watching on right now is my old A6400. This has gotta be what uh, like NFL quarterbacks feel when they see their team draft a quarterback, like first overall in the draft, knowing that that guy's gonna replace him. It still has to film it anyway. You see this? All of this is in Japanese. This is the menu of my old ZVE one. It's a glorious thing. Look, it says English right there, which means I can actually use this camera. Now I'm gonna have to learn how to use this thing. Got a lot of cool features on it. Do all balls have dates on them? No, no. Like just some special just, uh, ones? Not that good at pitching a slider, but I want to know how to pitch a slider that you can, as like a winning pitch. You throw a slider right now? What's the shape? It goes zone to outside. So often it just becomes, it's just- becomes a, ball. a ball. How hard is it? Well, 120 some kilometers, 78 max. And fastball is what? Yep, not so long. Max is 94, and then his average is like 90, 92. Your slider is like my sweeper. I don't throw that for a strike in the zone very often either. I throw a shorter, I call it a cutter, but it's really like a gyro ball slider. I throw that one early in the counts for strikes. It doesn't move very much. I'll throw the bigger one with like two strikes. So they see this, they swing at it out of the zone. What other pitches does he throw? Later, two seamers. Cutter doesn't really necessarily mean that I can use all that in like in game situation. Do you throw cutters a lot in the game? One out of four, maybe one out of three pitches. And when you miss, is it glove side? Is it high, low? Outside. If this is the glove, if this is the plate, you're a pitcher, I'm catcher. So if the catcher sets the glove here and you're missing here, for me, I try to throw either to this shoulder or to this knee. Target looks like inside, but I know that I'm gonna miss here and it's a strike more often. In the States, you fly everywhere. In Japan, you take the train. So we're headed for the bullet train. Now, in addition to traveling by train, there's a couple things that are also done a little bit differently. Luggage is usually shipped two days before. So you have to have like two pairs of travel stuff. I have my carry-on with uh, my pillow and my bathroom bag. Two days worth of clothes, half an hour to the bullet train and then three hour bullet train ride. Oh, we have to change trains too. Do the bullet trains run with as much precision as like the local trains? It says it's leaving at like 4.10, it leaves at 4.10. Okay, so we got like 25 minutes. So if I was coming here on my own, how would I get a ticket? You can purchase it. Oh, it has English. So you're going to uh, Kyoto? Oh, eight. times. See, like every 10 minutes? That seems way easier. When the team provides tickets for road trips, like, do you have to come and do this? Basically the last train of that day. So whenever you come in here, you change your ticket. Ticket time. You know, that's really, you should pretty far the board. Oh, no. Does it take Apple card? Because that'd be devastating if I come here and be right back to my Passmo issues. Last train, like nine. Change of reserved seat. Then insert the ticket. Okay. You can switch only once. Oh boy. Okay. So wait to switch until I like come here and know which train right. I'm gonna take. And you're gonna have two tickets. This old one and there's a new one. And when you go through the gate, both tickets in, both tickets will come out. Oh. You gotta keep it. Most likely, I'll be or one of the translators will be traveling with you. But sometimes, like let's say you pitch Saturday, Sunday afternoon you get to go. Sunday afternoon, teams still have game, right? I have to stay for the game. Could be by yourself. 
Well, in that case, you might need to be able to <laughs> switch your ticket by yourself. I forgot headphones. I have 10 minutes till my train. I need headphones. I'm such a wreck. Those are like beats, right? There's too many options. I don't know what to pick. That doesn't matter. The, this color. I hope I can connect to them in Japanese. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Wait. And when you go through the gate, both tickets in? Ryu, I'm stuck. No, 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 not the top. The insert. You gotta insert it. Oh, like this? Yes. Okay. Mine's the top, is the car. Ryu, you hung me out to dry. I look like an idiot. Well, we made it. Watched the F1 race. My fantasy team dropped from first to fifth today, so pretty good fish around here, so maybe we'll find some fish. I don't know. So check in just like a normal hotel. So no like special team priority or anything like that. Now I heard there's something about like requesting a big bed. Thank you. It's for when, you know, it's family or somebody is shallow with you. Oh, there's like team floors. Oh, I can. So this is what I was referring to. So do they have queen beds, king beds? Do you have to request that? A little bit different than the rooms in the big leagues. In the big leagues, they get rooms on a whole bunch of different floors to fill out, you know, the requirement of getting a king bed. Here, they get a team floor. The younger guys or less experienced guys get kind of like the smallest rooms and the older guys get like the bigger rooms. The reason they do that has to do with where you do laundry. So you come back from the field in your team stuff here, and then you drop your laundry off outside your door. And so there's a bunch of guys kind of walking around in the hallway. Some of them are naked, I guess. Some of them are not dropping clothes off outside. So if you had other people on the same floor, then it would get a little bit weird. And then the clothes are brought back to your room. Uh, another interesting difference is in the big leagues, if you want to travel with your family, like let's say you're married and your wife comes on the road trip here, no family is allowed on the team floor because that'd be kind of weird to have like wives in the hallway as a bunch of teammates are walking. I don't know, just get really weird. In order to have your family come with you, your family has to book another room. Families can't stay with the players on this floor, but players maybe can go stay with their families. I don't know about this. I'm going to have to ask. I've been getting distracted a lot today. Now I'm going to be late to my vampire cafe reservation. 15 minutes late American time, which is like 20 minutes late Japanese time. Very red, blood red elevator. Ooh. Ring this bell. Don't let yourself in. Trevor? And hence. It is very dark and very red in here. Got an appetizer with some rose petals, and we got Caesar salad. And they bring out a little cup, form a ritual, and they just dump what looks like blood on your Caesar salad. Time to try this drink here. Glass has what looks like blood on it. Very well themed, I like it. Not sure what's in it, it's very sweet. Very good theme for the second themed restaurant that I've eaten at. I'm gonna give that one a, an A for sure. Food was better than uh, the Pokemon Cafe. To be expected though, because Pokemon Cafe is meant for kids. Definitely glad I went overall, really cool experience. You should check it out. It is game day and I am facing the carp again. What worked last time may or may not work again this time. If I had one approach and they went and made adjustments, I could be walking into an ambush. If I use a different approach and they didn't make an adjustment, I could be doing something that's more hittable. And for example, I see in these first couple lefties, they were late on fastballs, but I see on McBroom, he was early or on time. Okay, so that's putting in my head. Lefties might be speeding up a little bit. McBroom might be sitting on that fastball. I noticed a couple things. Number one, I threw a lot of cutters last time and they didn't respond to him very well, but you could definitely see the second and third time through the order. They started opening up and trying to pull inside pitches because they figured the cutter would be coming at them. There's a couple remedies for that. Fastballs away, splitters away, splitters away mostly, but gotta make sure they're down. And they didn't react to curveballs very well at all. I'm gonna start with the same approach. If I see him start opening up and start getting some hits on those, I have a remedy in mind. So with that being said, it's time to head off to the field and get going. Well, I think I got my prep yesterday just about right. Look at this. That big green bar, close to 100% readiness, 95th percentile of all time. Well, apparently I have better stuff than I've ever had in my life with better command than I've ever had in my life, and I'm just the worst pitcher in the league, so fuck.